Hello guys, so in this video, I'm just going to show you uh, the, a, a real proof on how you can make money using Microsoft Bing Ads. So uh, it doesn't matter whether you use ClickBank or any type of product, as long as you set up the right campaign and you choose the right keywords, then you can probably make some sales. And then of course you have to make sure you optimize your keywords, you don't spend that much as I always teach here on my channel, that uh, by optimizing your keywords, uh, choosing uh, cost-effective keywords and make, concentrating more on traffic then will probably land you to a sale. So at the moment today, uh, the 5th of January 2003, um, 2023 i mean uh, so so far 67 clicks and we spent 7.53 so if we head over to our one of the store that i'm going to show you a woocommerce store so today so far 5th of uh january 2023 um it's early in the day so i made two two sales uh with a net sale of nine dollars so this is in us dollar uh because woocommerce my woocommerce set up in us dollar and the one that you saw earlier was 7.53 so that's around maybe five dollars in us so so our profit of four dollars but if we take a look at yesterday Okay, so yesterday we made $78. I know it's not much, but uh, what I can show you here is that it actually works. So whatever campaign you set up, as long as you're making some profit, doesn't matter whether it's big one or uh, just a small amount. So that's fine. You can optimize it. You can scale it and, you know, um, make some uh, huge profit, Like unlike this one. But it's still a sale. It's still a profit, uh, which you can, you know, by the end of the day, you can spend this amount of money. Uh, so, but if we take a look at the previous month, so last month, that will be uh, uh, 1st of December to 31st, 2022. So I've made 2560. So it's a decent money. So made 163 orders, uh, 2560, totaling 2560 net sales. Uh, but it's not actually a net sale because we spent some amount uh, advertising the product. So if we head over to my, back to my uh, Bing ads, and here we set the similar date to uh, yeah, last month here. So as you can see, last month we've made, uh, we uh, I spent 209, so that's around 150 in USD, and my I made 108, uh, almost 2,000 clicks, so almost 2,000 visitors, and out of those 2,000 visitors, then we made, uh, we go back, we made uh, 163 sales, totaling to 2,560. So it's a good uh, uh, rate percentage of uh, amount of visitor came to this website and uh, you know made this uh, 160 sales. So I started this Woo WooCommerce shop around. October, late October. So let's uh, have a look at the total sales made using this site. So let's say late October. So that's, let's say, uh, until this date. So today is 05, 2023, 01, date is invalid. Okay, maybe let's set it to 4, 4, still says invalid. Okay, now let's set it to 5. 5th of January. So uh, this shop made around 5,307 in sales for the past uh, January, October, uh, November, December for the past three months. So an average of almost 1,800 per month, which is, I think, uh, not too bad uh, because I'm not selling a um, high uh, costing items. So some of the items that I'm selling here are, most of them are ebooks that cost uh, $6.99, uh, $4 or $3. So uh, what I can tell you here is you just need to buy uh, those ebooks uh, or you make it yourself <coughs> then choose the right keywords and then you know find the right customer using microsoft bing as and uh, you know make some sales because uh, here you don't have to uh, by selling ebooks or any digital products you don't have to you know keep an inventory because they just need to download it or uh, you know um, uh, install the software and then there you go you just need to uh, support them if they needed a, if re require any assistance but uh, yeah so far uh, for the past you know uh, three months we've made uh, 437 sales 5300 in total sales and then let's head back to the microsoft bing okay so let's do the same uh, one so here let's have the custom date similar to what we set up uh, in our woocommerce shop and then the date today is uh first 2023 all right now let's see how much i spent on ads Okay, so as you can see, we spent a total of 570 in uh, Australian dollars, so that's around 450, 420 in uh, US dollar, uh, and against the sales that we made, 5,300, so we've made a profit around 4,800, okay, let's say uh, almost uh, uh, 1,600 per month, so that's what I can say. I know it's not a big money compared to what you can uh, maybe uh, saw, you, you've already seen in some of the YouTube videos showing their almost 100,000 sales, but uh, this is a real uh, proof that, uh, you know, doesn't matter if you're selling a 
high amount item or just simply by selling ebooks like two two dollars three dollars five dollars ebooks doesn't matter if you created it yourself or it's you're reselling it as long as you choose the right keywords now uh what's the purpose of this video is it it is uh, showing you how you can get huge number of visitors in your uh, woocommerce or any anything that you are trying to promote so first thing is uh you know it's very important to find your niche and once you have your niche ready you can head over to this website called keyword2free.com and then you come to this keyword planner now for example your niche is about uh you know make money online i know it's a broad niche but once you click here discover keywords okay you will get a chance chance to you know find some uh unique, unique words along with your base keyword that you can uh, create a campaign out of the keyword that you found here in keyword two free okay like for example make online make money online as a student that's a good keyword okay uh, make money online by typing make money online by watching videos so things like uh that okay so just find something interesting and make sense and make sure that it it will um make you some sales make money online crypto now once you have this keyword what you have to do is to decide whether you are going to sell a digital product or a physical product so my suggestion is for start you uh sell you sell a digital product because you don't have to maintain any inventory just like what i said earlier so make an ebook or buy an ebook uh from any pldr which i will leave uh, a link in the description below where i always find a good uh ebook to you know to promote to, to sell and make sure you are uh, getting the uh the ebook uh, based on the niche that you selected for example make money online so uh, you will find them um, you will go to that pldr site and then uh, search for a ebook that's related to the niche that i'm showing you right now for example make money online and then now this the next step is to you know uh, head over to microsoft bing ads here in microsoft bing ads keyword planner just type your keywords here make money okay because when you just type make money online so it's very broad and but if you use this tool like you can discover like what uh keyword to append uh in your uh, main keyword okay so for example make money online as we saw earlier make money online as a student this is a good one all right uh, but you know I, uh, my suggestion is uh, move away from student because mostly student won't buy whatever you're selling because they don't have enough money so let's say make money online by watching videos for example all right now let's go back to the uh, keyword planner and type that all right and make sure you select some uh, tier one country and then click on keyword suggestion all right now here as you can see 71 million uh, searches so it's really a good ad, uh, ad network that you can use to promote any type of product that you're going to sell especially digital products so microsoft bing ads is my at the moment my partner uh, in uh, getting some good traffic all right and here as you can see you can find a lot of useful keywords here okay which has uh, you know uh, try uh, to get as many keywords as you need uh, to create your campaign because the more keywords you are, have like a minimum of like 50 keywords capture some 50 keywords here and then uh, when you create a campaign include those keywords be and and here make sure you are not over spending uh, this is what i'm going to show you so here select that keyword uh, select these keywords and click this add selected to estimates as you can see i just selected like 30 keywords and uh the potential traffic that it will bring me is 12,000. okay 12,000 impression and th almost thousand clicks okay but of course um this is just an estimate so it does you need to carefully select the keywords that uh you will be using or uh depends on which product you are trying to promote let's say this one and then my my key is not spending more than 50 cents per click in any type of product that i'm promoting so let's say 25 cents per click and get estimates so here on the 25 cents per click so you can get up to 36 visitors so without spending too much these 36 visitors let's say one of uh, one of these 36 visitors purchase your product so, and your product let's say is uh like five dollars or seven dollars and then uh, you spend like seven or five eight so you're still making some profit so what you need to do is uh, if you see that uh, you're not making profit so just try to optimize it like add more keywords so let's add more keywords here you have to add more keywords okay so you need to have at least like 15 cents get estimates okay so for 15 cents you can get uh, 16 visitors two dollars so your product uh should be at least ten dollars okay or eight dollars seven dollars and then you're making some profit okay me the only key of making uh, uh, money online is to you know you spend and then make sure uh what you spend uh will be returned to you twice or twice the amount okay so if you spend like three dollars here then make sure you are getting six dollars so that's the key point okay or even five dollars then you scale it okay scale it up all right now uh what i always do here 
out of um, you know uh, I I'm going to select as much keywords as I can okay so here let's say for example I, I, I chose this 799 keywords all right but make sure you are filtering the keywords okay select at least 50 meaningful keywords uh, based on the item that you're promoting let's say this uh, 799 let's say are related keywords to your product and click add to estimate so just to make it realistic so again so let's not select it okay let's choose 100 keywords all right 100 keywords and then click this add to estimates Right. Look at this. The potential number of customers you uh, landing to your website will be forty-five thousand. Okay. So out of those forty-five thousand, um, if you're not making any sales, then there is really something wrong with uh, what you have been setting up. Okay. So here, let's say, I just want to spend fifteen cents. All right. Let's see. Look at this. This is a good number of traffic per day. Four hundred fifty-one people coming into your website. Okay, that means they are interested to what you are trying to, you know, uh, promote. Four hundred fifty-one. So make sure out of this four hundred fifty-one, you get at least two percent conversion. So two percent conversion will be, uh, let's say, four hundred. That's uh, that's eight customer. So eight customers will be buying whatever you're trying to offer. So four hundred fifty-one, and you spend like 68 dollars all right and what you're trying to sell them is an item with 15 dollars each so let's do the math here so in here the 15 dollar product times eight customer is 120 so you double the amount that uh you sp already spent in the ads so again you scale it you scale it uh and then try to get as much sales as you wanted okay so eight sales is i think are probably quite low if you're getting 451 visitors so i think you probably get more than that so 20 sales that's you know 20 sales and if you're just selling a you know let's say 12 dollar product so you get 240 out of 68 dollars spent so that's how easy it is to you know promote uh, using microsoft Bing as as long as you create uh, you select a proper keywords with uh, making sure that you're not spending too much on the cost per click and setting up um, you know uh, it doesn't matter what you sell you know people nowadays on the internet will just buy uh if you know you targeted a really um you know the right keywords okay so just by going through here keyword proofread.com you can discover anything like like affiliate for example affiliate marketing so from your base keywords you can have ideas on the keyword that you will be pasting into you know microsoft being as in order to make some sales and as much as possible uh, stay away from physical products and make sure you're and uh, you know uh, uh, for a start i recommend you sell you sell uh digital products okay here and then uh, i'll be uh so if you are really interested here guys so just comment along i will be making um a tutorial on how to set up a you know an effective woocommerce store okay uh because all that all the sales i made now is using uh woocommerce i know i, I i've been teaching a lot about clickbank products so that's a different different uh, story so this one i am uh, making a separate you know um uh, store uh, away from clickbank but it doesn't matter whatever you sell whether it's clickbank affiliate marketing or your own ebook store then doesn't matter as long as you set up your campaign correctly and you're getting uh, as much traffic as possible without spending too much uh, on the campaign all right and then i will be leaving a description uh, a link to the description to the description below uh, for this keyword tool free so it's very useful like you can have lots of ideas on what uh, ebook you're going to sell for example affiliate marketing average income okay uh, so you just need to find a, a good keyword and then paste it in microsoft ads being ads, and then microsoft being ads uh, keyword planner will be suggesting you lots of keywords that will get huge traffic all right and uh, before we go uh, let's just check again my woocommerce store so as you can see this is my uh, first one and i am setting up a new store i just started like uh, late december so as you can see this is my other store and if we take a look at the uh, last month's sale So because this is a new store and uh, I'm still focusing on the first one that I've uh, I created. So as you can see, last month we made $43, nine orders, so which is not bad. Uh, I'm still focusing on the first store that I showed you. So and today so far, like, see, it's loading. It's pretty slow. That's fine. So uh, at the moment we made one sale today, so that's $5.50. So again, uh, as you can see here, this is one clue. So as you can see here, I'm selling ebooks. Okay, so that's the idea. Okay, finding the right keyword uh, and uh, you know this year getting as much traffic as possible. All right. So just follow along, and I will be uh, you know releasing more tutorials about this. Thank you for watching.